Hi everyone, this is Neil Wright of consultant, audiologist and director of Clivax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the Waxgate. And here we have a patient with an extremely prominent anterior um, canal wall. So this is their right ear and you will see once I remove this plug of really soft sticky wax that the front section of the ear canal is extremely prominent and it was so prominent that it was actually obscuring probably half the view of the anterior uh, aspect quadrant of the eardrum. So I'm just working at the bottom of the ear canal here, trying to lift it up and away to separate it from the canal walls. So it's a bit sticky as you can see. During the procedure, it did block the suction tube on a couple of occasions. I think that was one of them just a moment ago. So I'm just entering with the uh, medium sized uh, wax coat specular, just dilating open up the ear. And the reality with this patient is if you wanted to visualize the anterior uh, aspects of the eardrum, you would need to use an endoscope. So with the wax scope or an ENT microscope or a traditional otoscope, you're just not able to view the front section of the ear canal. So after the procedure, I did look with an endoscope and it was all clear and fine. There's no abnormalities detected. So again, just separating it from the posterior canal wall here. There's a few hairs just at the entrance. You can see that sticky consistency. I perhaps use some medical grade olive oil. Yeah, there we are. And this just helps to coagulate the wax and it helps minimize any internal blockages of the suction tube. I have been saying that, as you can see, it just got blocked there. So I've just removed the suction tube out of the air, given it a little shake, it's self cleared. And I'm just going to the back part of the ear canal. I want to reveal the ear canal on this side if I'm able to. So I have a better idea of the anatomy and architecture of the ear canal. If I just poke in blindly in this area, there's a possibility that I'll poke directly into the ear canal, which would be uncomfortable. So you just want to work very gently and cautiously around the canal walls. Just gone a bit more superiorly, trying to bring this down and underneath the cartilage at the top. You can see there's a bit of cartilage there that's engulfing this wax. Just got blocked again momentarily. I've managed to separate that plug, but it's separated into two. So I think, it, again, the suction probe gets blocked on a couple of occasions here. There, that's one occasion. Again, it's just coming away. It's quite loose consistency of wax. It's sort of coming out in a singular plug. It's coming out in little sections. just trying to bring it underneath again from that superior canal wall there's that part of the ear canal is a bit narrow and there's wax tucked in underneath that beyond it more medially so i'm trying to bring it underneath slowly but surely we're getting there there's a bit of skin adhesion here as well you can see on the periphery that white textured skin so we're just going to re-enter the ear so i'm really stretching it so I've got the right hand side of the specular past the second bend, but we can only just see the hammer bone. We can't see the light reflex. And the anatomy is also the same in the left ear. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you're interested in the wax scope or the eye clear scope endoscope, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.